Hi, this is John Clements for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is May 2nd, 2007, and we're out at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in a young apple planting that I planted last year to, to three different systems, a traditional central leader, a vertical axis, and behind me what we have is what I'm calling, or what is being called the tall spindle. Now, if you've read any industry publications this past winter, you probably read about the tall spindle. spindle. It's a high-density apple production system. Trees are typically planted about three feet apart. You want to get nice, well-feathered trees from the nursery, the between-row spacing can be 10 to 12 feet, depending on your equipment. So I'm going to tell you, show you a little bit more about the tall spindle tree, what we're looking for from a nursery tree, and how to support it, and um, a little bit of branch bending technique with a, 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 a wire clip. Now, the tall spindle is a, is a high-density system. Uh, that uses dwarf rootstocks such as M9 or Bud9. Trees are generally planted about three feet apart, one meter apart, which is the spacing in here. And what you want to get is a nicely feathered tree that's say half to five eighths inch diameter from the nursery. And when I say nicely feathered, at least oh four to five feathers. And we prefer them to originate fairly high up the tree. So this tree was planted last year. We didn't do any pruning on the tree last year, and we're not. We let it grow. We're going to do little, if any, pruning this year. So this tall spindle is typically supported by four wires. We have four wires here. The tree will be grown 10 to 12 feet high, and all the branches will be recycled out of the, the, uh, from the trunk that will be left to grow tall over the course of time. Now there's a couple of, of, of training and support techniques I want to show you here. The first is I like to use these U-clips to uh, tie the tree to the wire, and they're very simple. They just clip on the wire, come up around the tree, and bang, permanently in place, and they'll support the tree for the life of the orchard. So that's the U-clip or U-hook. These can be bought from Peach Ridge, or Peach Ridge Orchard Supply in Michigan. The second thing is in the first leaf, and if you didn't get to it in the first leaf, in the second leaf, is these feathers really need to be tied down to a position that's below 90 degrees. And um, I have this piece of wire that Mo Tugas uh, from Northboro, Massachusetts made this winter. We're calling it the Tugas Clip. You could use rubber bands, but these branches should all be positioned down so they don't become vigorous and grow upright and become more fruitful. So all your feathers, which we have four or more of hopefully, should be tied down to below 90 degrees, a slight downward angle, so that these will become more fruitful fast. Uh, key to this system, uh, this tall spindle is getting starting to get fruit in the second and third leaf. By the third and fourth leaf, production should be really ramping up. And you should also pay attention to the first and second leaf to grow as much tree as you can. So there you have it, the tall spindle grown on dwarf root stocks, a very high density apple planting system, should get you up in production in the second and third leaf. Um, Probably a, a typical spacing would be 3 to 4 feet by 10 to 12 feet between the rows, depending on your equipment. So give it a try. This is John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Have a good day.